Hey, what's up guys? Paul James here coming at you with another case study update on what I'm doing with Shopify and how that's going. Now, um, I'm not sure how many more videos I'm going to shoot uh, as far as as far as this stuff goes. I guess let me know in the comments on you know what you'd like to see and if you want me to keep shooting them or what. Um, but I figured I would just kind of show you my progress as of now and, and where I am and, and stuff like that. So I plan on, I, I started the scaling stuff now as of the last, I don't know, maybe day or two. And I plan on scaling it much harder as far as coming in with uh, different items and stuff. But I've got my ads now for Shopify dialed in really, really tight. Uh, I'm getting really good cost per conversions. I wouldn't say really good cost per conversions, but it's going down. Um, in fact, it's dropped $2 um, cost per conversion for every sale that I get. So it's definitely going down and I, I I predict that that'll keep happening. And I'm attributing that to the fact that social proof is starting to come into the ad. So that's one thing that I really learned about this stuff is once people start receiving their items and they come back into your ad, sometimes they'll post pictures with it. Um, sometimes they'll just say that they received it and that they love it or whatever. That started to lower my cost per conversion, which was really helpful. So I think as you start selling a new item, one of the things you're going to see um, or that I saw anyways, was that it was kind of a grind that first like maybe three weeks um, because as you know, I'm drop shipping from China. So it takes a good two weeks, business days, two week business days. So 14 business days before they start to receive the items. Um, hasn't been too much of a problem for me. I would say I get maybe two emails a day asking you know where their item is and then I just give them the tracking number and everything's good to go. I've, I've not had any complaints. I uh, haven't had any refunds. Everyone's very happy with their stuff when they get it. Um, and not too many complaints about shipping. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, you know, that was one thing I was worried about. I was worried I was going to start this and maybe lose a bunch of money because people were going to not be happy with the item, the quality, or uh, maybe not be happy with um, the shipping time. Because, you know, the smart way to have done this would have been for me to order the item first and test it out and make sure it was good. But I didn't have time to do that. I mean, I guess I could have had time to do it, but I really just wanted to come out of the box and do a case study. So my Shopify store still has just one item, has no logo, uh, has no design. It's just like a, a stock design that came with it and literally has a, a contact us page where they can see my email and email me. And then an about page that has like a sentence saying where I'm from. So here's what we're, here's where we're at. Um, we still haven't even been doing this a full month yet. So this is pretty close to a month, but not quite. $4,465.20. Again, complete newbie at this. This is just a kind of a test that I'm not really even giving it my all. Um, so I've got some expenses broken down. Uh, first one is a credit card. Um, this one is for ad spend. Oh no, this one was for um, merchandise spend. And then as I started uh, figuring out that this was going to work out, I switched the merchandise spend over to this card because this card gives me more cashback rewards. So it's kind of a little tip for you as well. If you're going to be spending a lot of money, find a credit card. I don't use credit cards, but I do for business expenses because it gives me uh, rewards and then I just pay it off right away. So, you know, I think I get like three to 5% cash back on it and that, that can help out. I mean, that makes a big difference. So originally start off on this card with purchasing the items. Uh, from the dropshipper in China, and then when I realized it was working and it was profitable, I switched it over to this one. Uh, of course, we got my Shopify fee, it's $29 a month. Facebook ads, um, that's that spend right there. Um, so, you know, about 1500 bucks. And then uh, merchant fees, you know, the fee that Shopify and PayPal takes per transaction for processing your payment. So, a net profit of 1300 bucks. Now, that being said, this isn't a totally accurate reflection because number one, the social proof just started coming in. And number two, I've cranked my ad spend up. Uh, yesterday I cranked it up to a hundred dollars and um, I, I about doubled my profit cranking the ad spend up. So today I'm cranking it up to $200 a day. And then if that works out, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna crank it up until my cost per conversion starts to, starts to go south. And when that happens, I'm going to bring it back down and find kind of where my hot spot is. And I'm predicting it's probably going to be around $500 a day, but I'm, I don't know yet. I just have to kind of test that. 
So essentially I'm spending, you know, $500 a day and I'll probably, I'm noticing that whatever I spend on ads, I'm pretty much making back in profit pretty close. I mean, you can see it right here. Um, spent $1,500, made close to $1,500. So if I spend $500 a day on ads, I'm, it's a pretty safe bet that I'll make about $500 profit. So that's just kind of what I'm seeing on my item. But yeah, anyways, I thought this was pretty interesting. I thought you guys would enjoy an update. Um, again, I don't really know how many more updates I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to be pretty busy over the next, after Thanksgiving, I'm going to be focused on creating new stuff and, and that kind of stuff. So I really don't know where I'm going to be headed with uh, business endeavors, but um, I, I do plan on highly focusing on this stuff and I'll probably be pretty busy. But let me know in the comment box. Subscribe if you want updates on anything I'm doing or what's going on or if you enjoy these videos. It always helps to hit the like button and to comment and I appreciate it. Let me know what you think, okay? Catch you guys later.